Okay, last video showed this dirty clutch. I cleaned it up and now it moves correctly. You saw it last time, it's stuck every time. All cleaned, all polished, all the moving parts clean. Have not put the weights in, but all these rollers are good. I haven't put the sliders in. Thought the weights should be explained on old Yamahas. When you got a Polaris like this, it tells you how much it weighs. This Comet number is this A3. Doesn't tell you what it weighs. If I put it on the scale, it tells me it's 49 grams for this 87F. The 8VO, these Yamaha weights, there's 46. There is another weight that's 46, like this 8VO. It's called an 82M, and that's the Phaser Mountain weight. But still, doesn't tell you what it weighs. You have to go to their charts. I really like this. This is a 46 gram off of the SRV. I can use that with a stock 1990 yellow green phaser. This came out of the 540 SRV in red pink or pink red. Instead of 25 pounds, it's 35 pounds with the exact same 1.75 ratio. Blue, I'm not sure what this is. I use it in my 250. It's really stiff. It's really wild. The stock ones are supposed to be blue, but they're thin. And then the gold ones are out of the ovations. Hope this helps. Oh, another little tip. When you get that totally cleaned, which I haven't, mark it. That tells you if you've made it to one-to-one -one ratio. You can run them all the way up. If you're looking for just a little more RPM, they won't climb all the way. But it's very efficient to get to one-to-one. These are tiny little lightweight clutches.